If you're watching this video, you are one of three things. One, you're just starting out playing Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and you want to become better. Number two, you're pretty good at the game, but you want to become a Mario Kart god. Or three, you just want to watch a video. Whatever it is, I'm going to teach you how to become a Mario Kart pro. If you already know something, you can skip it using the timestamps in the description. So with that, let's get into the basics. You firstly want to choose your CC. There are 5 different CCs in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. 50, 100, 150, Mirror, and 200. Obviously, if you're new, start at 50 CC. And once you get more comfortable, move up and choose faster CCs. There are a lot of different combinations in the game, so you might feel overwhelmed at first. But there's an easy way to find out what is right for you. You can choose your own stats. There's speed. The higher your speed, the faster you'll go. Acceleration. How quickly you'll get back to top speed after getting hit. Weight. Dictates how much you can easily be bumped around. Handling. How well your cart handles and how easy it is to drift. And traction and grip. The higher the stat, the faster you move in sand or slip less on ice. There's also a hidden stat called Mini Turbo. The higher the Mini Turbo stat, the longer your Mini Turbo will last, the easier it is to build up, and you'll also get a bigger boost. So definitely pay attention to this stat, because it can be game breaking sometimes. Firstly, the cart. You have three options of carts. A normal cart, a bike, or an inwards drift bike. Inwards drift allows you to take corners much easier, but it is a little harder to control. There are only a few bikes in the game of inwards drift, like these here. So if you're just starting out, I would choose the standard cart, pipe frame, or teddy buggy. However, for the best combinations, it's Yoshi and the Teddy Buggy with the roller wheels and the paper glider. Next up is the wheels. Here's the wheels I would avoid using on standard carts like the ones I listed before. I wouldn't use any of the big wheels such as Monster, Cushion, or Hot Monster. I also wouldn't use the mini wheels. I would either use the standard wheels, Slim, Triforce Tires, or Slick. Lastly, the glider. And to be honest, the glider doesn't really matter nearly as much as the other parts. I use the waddle wing, but pretty much whatever you want is okay. For the people who are very new at the game, smart steering is an option available. When it's turned on, smart steering prevents you from going off-road. However, you'll slow down when you're near the off-road and some shortcuts you will not be able to take. So if you're very new, then use smart steering before you get used to the controls. However, if you have experience, I'd recommend avoiding it to be able to take shortcuts. The first thing you need to know is how to drift. To drift, Hold the ZR or R button and move your joystick. You can build up mini turbos by drifting for long periods of time. Remember to use your joystick to adjust your position. Drifts can be built up all the way to an ultra mini turbo, which gives you a huge speed boost. Tricking is very important in Mario Kart. By shaking your controller or using the ZR slash R button on a ramp, you can perform a trick. By tricking, you can get a small speed boost. Tricking is very important to either stay ahead or catch up. Trick whenever you see ramps, as they can help you a lot in the race. Items are another important strategy for Mario Kart. When you hit an item box, you'll get a random item based on your position. Items can make or break first place. If you are in first place and get a coin, hold on to that coin until you hit another item box. Hitting another item box with a coin in the first slot guarantees you'll get a different item. And this can also prevent your good item from being stolen by a boo. If you get a super horn, take a hit. It's better to just take a hit from a red shell than lose the horn and get hit by a blue shell. However, only do this if you're pretty far ahead in the second lap. If you're about to get hit by an item, you can hold ZL to hold the item behind you and defend yourself. But remember that holding a bomb behind you isn't the best idea. To dodge with a bomb, you need to throw it behind you a second before the item hit. And for the lower position, like 12th to 7th, remember to use your items. Stars and triple mushrooms are the best for 9th to 7th. Bullet Bills, Stars, and Golden Mushroom are great for catching up when you're nearing 12. At the start of the race, when you see the 2 pop up, hold down the Accelerate button. This will launch you ahead of everyone at the start. Use this every race. Coins are very important to collect on the track. Whenever you collect a coin, you'll go a tiny bit faster. You can hold a maximum of 10 coins. Always keep your coin count at 10. It doesn't make a big difference, but any extra speed will help you in a race. And it's how you unlock carts, wheels, and gliders, so collect as many as you can. The blue shell is one of the most destructive, evil, vile, horrible Mario Kart items out there. Using one can completely change the game. If you're in the back and get a blue shell, it doesn't help that much. 
but when you're in first, you start to sweat a little bit. But here's some tips to dodge it. First, you can use a super horn. It will totally destroy that sucker, and you'll be set for life. Another item you can use is a mushroom. Right when the blue shell shows its stomach, hit the mushroom and you'll blast right past it. A weird one is a star. You could dodge it with a star, but the chance of having a star in first is very unlikely. But if you have one, it's a great way to dodge the blue. You can also fall off the edge, but the timing is pretty strict. You do lose some time, but it's better than getting hit with the blue shell. And the last option, aside from the bullet bill, but you probably don't have a bullet bill in first, is dropping out. If you're close to second and see a blue on the minimap, you can slow down and go in reverse, then let second deal with it. But only do it if you're close to second place. There are a lot of shortcuts in every track. Some are obvious, and some are not so obvious. You pretty much need mushrooms for all of them. There isn't really a guide on shortcuts. If this video does well, I might make a video about every shortcut in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, who knows. Just play around with the tracks and try to find the shortcuts. Bagging is a very frowned upon strat in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. If you don't know what bagging is, it's staying in the back and getting very overpowered items, and then using those items to catch up. It's kinda patched in the latest version, but it's still possible. Bagging is also very unreliable, so I don't recommend it. However, you can do it, and if it pays off, it pays off well. You might think smuggling and bagging are the same, but they're very different. Smuggling is taking the overpowered items into first. This is different from bagging because bagging is using the overpowered items to get the first. Smuggling doesn't really help you win, it's just a nice flex. The gold parts are some of the best parts in Mario Kart. There are currently 4 different gold items. Also note that none of the requirements require the DLC, so you only need to complete the courses in the base game. The first being Gold Mario. Gold Mario is unlocked by getting a gold trophy in every 200cc cup. The gold cart is unlocked by getting one gold star or higher in every 150cc in mirror mode cup. The gold tires are unlocked by beating the staff ghost on every single time trial in 150cc. And finally, the gold glider is unlocked by collecting 5,000 coins. Slipstreams are built up when you stay behind a racer for a few seconds. You'll get a huge burst of speed when you're in the slipstream and blast ahead of your opponents. 200cc is the most challenging mode in the game. There are many things that you have to do differently than 150cc. You are extremely fast, almost uncontrollably, but with this guide, you'll take 200cc like a boss. The drift break is crucial for 200cc. If you see that you're heading for the off-road, start drifting and hold the brake button. This will slow you down and you'll avoid the off-road. Use this to your advantage at this almost uncontrollable speed. In 200cc, you can avoid using a mushroom on a lot of different shortcuts. Since you move pretty fast, it's basically like you have an infinite mushroom. Yes, going into the off-road will still slow you down, but by hopping to the shortcut sometimes, you can trick off it and easily take it. This doesn't work for every shortcut, but it does for a good amount of them. Battle mode is very different from racing. In battle, your gold changes based on the mode. And there are a bunch of modes. Here they are. The standard battle mode. Your goal is to pop your opponent's balloons with items. You can also steal their balloons using a mushroom, star, or feather. Once time is up, whoever pops the most balloons wins. You must learn the 180 turn. By accelerating and braking plus turning, you'll completely turn in the other direction. It's very useful when you're in a tough situation or need to turn around. This works in all battle modes. The next battle mode is Coin Runners. The goal is to collect as many coins as possible. You can get coins from picking them up around the track or ramming into an opponent with a mushroom and star. Hitting an opponent causes them to lose about half their coins and you can pick them up. The Bomb Blast is basically a balloon battle, but with bombs only. Whoever pops the most balloons wins. Bombs explode automatically when thrown forward, however when throwing backwards they take a while to explode. Just remember there's no way to get more balloons, so be cautious. In Renegade Roundup, it's basically cops of robbers. You're either a cop of a piranha or a robber. As a robber, your goal is to avoid the cops and free the captured robbers, basically survival. In a piranha team, your goal is to eat the renegades. Use the minimap to your advantage. At the start of Shine Thief, you will see a shine on the map. Depending on where you spawn, you have a high or low chance to grab the shine at first. If you grab it first, it's survival. You'll need to hold on to it as long as possible. Getting hit at any point causes you to lose the shine. You also go slower when holding the shine. So basically, run for your life. You could do a lot of tricks of maneuvering to avoid losing the shine though. If you need to get the shine, then you'll need to catch the shine holder. Using your items, you will need to hit them and grab the shine wherever it drops. 
or wait until someone else hits them and grab the shine after. So this is the unofficial guide to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I hope this helps your skills in the game. Maybe I'll make a part 2 to this video. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you liked it, subscribe, like, and comment your favorite part of the video. It helps me out a lot. If you want to see videos like this early, become a channel member, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.